god, my skin is dry and I haven't shaved, okay? Ignore it. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Alondra and I'm on a weight loss journey. So as you can see, I'm not on my usual chair and there's stuff behind me and you saw the title. So I know you know that we're gonna be doing a Shein haul today. Um, I'm gonna be 100% honest. I had already pre-recorded a Shein haul once I got the package because I was so excited to open it. But my boyfriend was home and honestly, I'm a little bit nervous to like film in front of him or like have him hear me even though he's like playing his video games and he doesn't mind, like he, he totally supports it. I just get nervous for him to hear me. I don't know. So I didn't really get to say everything that I wanted. It was mostly a silent video and I was just gonna like voice over over it, but I just wanted to talk to you guys while I have them on and show you guys outfits. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that today. And I'm really excited to show you guys these items. And I'm gonna be telling you guys all of my thoughts. Let me know down in the comments which piece do you think was your favorite and which one do you think you might have skipped out on? Because I know there's some that I probably should have skipped out on. If you have not yet subscribed, please make sure you do so down below. Hit that like button and let's get started. So the first thing I got were these pants. I actually got them in a size 14. And unfortunately they were too big. I like the way they fit. I was just really looking forward to having a pair that like did really fit me. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're a little bit too big. As I'm walking, there's like extra room. I'm gonna put you guys a little lower so you could see the bottom. I love the jean material. I love the way they look. I just wish maybe I would have gotten one size smaller, like a size 12 maybe instead of a 14. But the fit is really good, they're really cute. Which, if you've been following my weight loss journey, is actually a pretty good accomplishment. Yay, non-scale victories. I think I'm just gonna leave you guys down here. <laughs> now, this one I thought was super cute. This one actually is a size 12. I just think it's such good material, you guys. Like, look at it, and it came like straight in the mail like this. I had ordered another um, like silk satin, I don't know what that deal is, skirt, and it's right here. Um, and it came very, very scrunched. Unfortunately, I don't have a steamer, so I kind of have no business buying these kinds of skirts. Um, but this one, I'm taking it really good care of. It's on a hanger, just one by itself in the closet. Fold it over, she's she's fine. But this one, I just put it in there folded because anything I did, besides, again, I don't have a steamer. And I already tried the shower trick. It didn't work. It's just not working. So I'm going to wait until I get a steamer and then play with it. But this brown one, I actually really like the way it fits me. I don't know. Cute. Also, I'm a little bit sick right now, so please excuse me if I sound a little bit off. Next is these shoes. I got loafers from Shein. Oh god, my skin is dry and I haven't shaved, okay? Ignore it. But the socks are also from Shein. I got three other pairs. It came in a pack of four and then this like polka dot pattern. But they're so cute and so light. I got these in a size 8, 245, but I love, can't wait to wear. I feel like these would go with a lot of outfits, even jeans, so yeah, I can't wait to style them. Okay, next is this white um, turtleneck shirt. I'm wearing a black bra underneath, so pretend you don't see that. I got the exact same one in black. And they both fit very well. This one's a little bit more see-through. As you could tell, like, you should probably wear this with a white bra underneath. Not black. But I refuse to change this one because it's comfy. So I also got it in black. They're both pretty thin, as you can see. It's, like, super flimsy. But this one's not see-through at all. Never mind. The black one is a little bit see-through, but I don't mind it. If you do, don't get this one. I'm going to be showing it to you guys here. This is what this one looks like on. And... That's how that one looks on. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the material is kind of like, it does kind of cling to your body. I know I used to want to know that kind of stuff in hauls, so, but it's it doesn't feel like it's clinging, if that makes sense. Like, 
I don't know how to explain it, but the girls that get it, get it. Also, I'm not sure what size I got these shirts, so I'm going to put it like here. My hair is just getting messed up throughout the video, so don't mind that, okay? So I have this one on now. This is like an oversized turtleneck sweater thing. I just wanted things to be able to layer under. I've already worn this one with another Shein jacket that I got before in another order. And you, it's like not invasive at all. It's like thin, but really warm. The turtleneck, I'm not gonna lie, is actually pretty tight. Like, oh. <laughs> I will say I kind of always keep readjusting it. The sleeves are not tight at all. They're actually pretty loose. But yeah, I really like this one. Let me know what you guys think down below as well. The size is gonna be up here. All right, the next one is this guy. So this is actually my second or technically third puffer jacket that I've got from Shein. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, you've already seen the puffer vest that I got and the the beige one, the nude khaki. I don't know what the color is, but I'm going to also take that one out so I could show it in comparison of this one. I wanted it to be like baggy-ish. I do think it's really cute. I, I wish it had pockets. Because I find myself doing this a lot to try to like get in there. You can't see it, but there's like a string in here kind of that's like tightening it. So when you put it down, it doesn't just fall. It like springs back like this way. And so the whole front is kind of like more open like this instead of like straight. I know that's something that I noticed. I don't know if it matters to you guys, but it is cute. I really like it. This is the jacket in comparison to that one. This is the one that I absolutely loved. From Shein. It comes with the hood in the back, has strings on it. I'm not gonna lie, the hood kind of like goes forward, so you constantly have to be like putting it back if you want to wear it a little bit. But it's not too big of an issue, especially when it's raining. I noticed that it actually helps for it to cover like up to here. So not mad. It's so cute. I feel like it's it's a pretty good length. And this one was also advertised as having no pockets, but it was stitched right here, like closed. And I like put my finger in it to see if there was any space that I could make pockets. And when I opened it, it was like a perfect pocket. Like, look at this, you guys. Like, I don't understand why it said no pockets. But this, this was sewn shut, which I thought was really weird. And yeah, I don't know. They're both really comfortable. This honestly keeps me so warm. I wore this one, I believe, Christmas. Eve. I think I wore this on Christmas Eve at my family's party and we were outdoors the entire night under like a tarp and I was so warm in this. I was not cold at all. It wasn't like overheating. It was just like warm and comfy. So I highly suggest this jacket um, even though it wasn't part of this Shein package that I got. I just wanted to talk about it because again I wanted to compare it to the other. Um, this is definitely one that I would go for. If I can find the link, I will put it down below. Okay, then it's this jacket I was so excited for. I didn't want it to be too oversized because frankly, I kind of don't like the way the oversized jackets look. It kind of gives me playing in daddy's closet vibes, on me at least. And so I got this one, in, what's the size? Size XL. Because everyone was saying it, they were pretty big for even small, medium, and larges. So I think this fit really well too. Like, look at this. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. I think it's so cute. The quality is really nice. It's not like fuzzy or anything in here, but it's a good jacket to wear like over another long sleeve or just layer over some stuff. Like it's not too hot, it's not too cold. I think it's really, really cute. And I'm excited to style this one with different outfits. Probably not the shirt. Maybe even the turtlenecks back there, but I think this is super cute. So I got like an undershirt type skirt thing. It's pretty short. It has a little slit. I think it's really cute and I think it would go with a lot of different shirts and even some of the jackets that I got over here or even the loafers I got today. Oh, and then I also got these fishnets that have a butterfly print. Um, I'm not going to try these on because it's it's a hassle, but I will put a picture of the Shein screenshot. But they're super cute and I'm excited to wear these under some skirts or even jeans with, with the rips in them. Who knows? So many options. I also got a few little like, like makeup and earrings and little things like that, which I'm going to be showing you guys individually what they are right now. 
Just so you guys know, these clips are from the other day when I first recorded this video. I bought these soaps a while ago and so I ordered this little dish tray that I thought would go perfect in the bathroom from Shein. As for the earrings, you saw them on that first clip, but unfortunately I didn't record any clips with me wearing them. But I'm sure you guys will be seeing them in future videos. This pair I actually already wore in last week's video. Then I got two pairs of socks. The pattern isn't exactly alike, but they're really soft, really good quality. I really like the socks from Shein, and I just wanted to have some high socks so that I could wear with loafers. Next, I tried out this eyelash curler that I was actually really excited to try because it came with like tiny brush bristles, kind of. What the fuck? And it actually worked surprisingly well. This necklace and the next one that I'm going to show you guys actually came together, but they're like separate necklaces. And then the third one that I'm showing you guys comes in one piece. And I have already worn this one. Unfortunately, it didn't make my neck green. But I've heard that clear polish trick usually works, but I haven't tried it, so let me know, you guys. Next is this glitter puff ball that I know you guys saw and were interested in and were waiting for. It actually works so well, you guys. The glitter is so beautiful. I got the bronze glitter. You can't really see it as well in this video, but trust me, it looks so gorgeous in person. So next is this lipstick or lip gloss. I'm not sure which one it's supposed to be. It reminds me of a lip gloss, but it kind of also feels like a lipstick. And it oxidizes after putting it on, which is weird because at first it looks like there's almost nothing on your lip, which is why I reapplied so many times the first time. Oh, it oxidizes. All right, you guys, and that is all I have for you today. That is the whole Shein haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know below what your favorite um, item was and which one you would probably skip out on. Please let me know if you guys enjoyed videos like these so that I can continue making some for you guys. With that being said, please make sure you guys subscribe if you have not yet done so. Leave a big like, it really helps me out. And then if you're interested in keeping up with me in my journey, go ahead and follow me on my aloe.sweat Instagram account. I'm super active there and I love DMing you guys. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!